absolutely delighted to be talking to the incredibly talented Chris Barris for the New Wave of Plastic Rock at Webfest 3. Hi Chris, how are you? Hello, I'm very good, thank you very much. So nice to see you. Last time we spoke was uh, Planet Rocks Rocktober last year, which was yep. a fantastic event. I know you've been incredibly busy since then, so why don't you tell us what you've been doing during lockdown, first of all? Um, well, yeah, I mean, trying to make the most of it, really. Uh, I've been doing lots of, like, online videos and yeah. other versions, acoustic stuff. Um, we did a live stream show, like the full band. Um, and I've been mainly concentrating on songwriting, new stuff. I've been working with some guys in the States uh, via Zoom, some songwriting yeah. sessions, which has been really cool. Uh, so that's been my main focus, really, making the most of the downtime to uh, write some tunes. Right, so are, are we, um, do we have a new album to look forward to next year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about times or anything like that, but yeah, hopefully it will be next year. Um, yeah. I see my last album, Light It Up, uh, isn't even a year old yet. So No, um, and of course you released the last two fairly close together, like a year apart. Uh, it's about 18 months, I think, yeah. Yeah, so well, it's fair to say that the last few years have been very kind to you, career-wise, and you really have had a, a whirlwind career. I want to know what, what have been the highlights for you, because there must have been a lot of highlights. Yeah, it's really hard to like pin down on like one thing um, or a few things. There's so many amazing things I've got to do, do you know, it's... Um, Does anything I've, stand out for you above the rest? Uh, I mean, the Blackstone Cherry Tour that we did last year was great. Uh, playing at Kefili Castle was amazing. Um, Planet Rockstock last year on the main stage was really, really good. Our headline tour last year, Light It Up. Yeah. Um, we moved to like much bigger venues. Most of them were sold out. It was really good. Um, yeah, I mean, lots of stuff. I've enjoyed every part of the journey, you know. Yeah, is that how you see it? So a journey, is there, is there a, an end, a final destination for the journey or are you just sort of enjoying it as it goes? Is there... Is there like a dream somewhere you'd like to be? Um, I mean, my dream is just to be able to carry on doing what I'm doing, really. Um, and a living from playing music, that's all I, I want to do. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, just continue to grow and hopefully things will keep growing in the, uh, going in the same direction. And that's all I can hope for. I don't have any like definite plans like, oh, I want to be selling out Wembley by 2025 or whatever. You know, I don't have anything like that. <laughs> um it's just going to keep cracking on and going with it yeah i mean that's probably the best just enjoy it as it goes and see where it leads to obviously for you it's it's led to great places so far and i think you're going to carry on going from strength to strength you played with a lot of big names as well is there anyone you haven't played with yet that you'd like to um i don't know really uh I get asked questions like that quite a lot. Like, oh, who do you love to collaborate with? Who do you like to see this? I mean, there's so many great people. I, I don't have, like, one band that I think, oh, I'd love to tour with them or anything like that. I mean, I did, and that was kind of like Blackstone Cherry. And mm. luckily, I've, you know, I've done that, and I'm going to be touring with them again uh, next September for the rescheduled uh, UK tour. So, yeah, um, yeah I can't, they were always, like, one band that I really wanted to tour with. So, um, yeah, I've kind of already achieve that one and then there's obviously loads of great bands out there that would be a privilege for me to do something with you yeah and you mentioned just before about the live stream performances you've been doing during lockdown you also did one for matt rambling man fair and uh -huh. i believe you were the only band so far in rambling man history to have played three consecutive years including the main stage last year so yeah. what was that like yeah it was really really good um it was quite a tough one for us actually because we were on the Blackstone Cherry tour and we mm. played in Ireland the night before. Um, I think it was Bel I think it was Belfast the last day. So we had to get mm -hmm. from Belfast on the Thursday night to Rambling Man Fair, you know, Friday afternoon. So <laughs> it was um, in Kent, you know, it's a long yeah. journey. Uh, there wasn't much sleep. We had to get on a ferry overnight. You're not obviously you have to get off the bus. We had a tour bus and stuff, which was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was. It was quite. It was quite tough. So by the time I got to Rambling Man Fair, I was already like running on fumes. But when I got on stage and uh, you know the crowd started cheering, it it uh, perked me up. 
but it was a tough it was a tough run on that day there was a lot of yeah. problems lots of stuff going wrong when you're rushing um but the actual gig was fantastic it was amazing i mean i love that festival i think the atmosphere there is just incredible yeah no, well looking ahead to next year what festivals have you got planned and you mentioned the tour that's been postponed to next september yeah what else have you got in the diary um, so it's mainly just like rescheduled stuff from this year, really. So we'll be at Stone Dead Festival, uh, Steel House Festival as well. So those are two that obviously have a great reputation of, I've never played before. So I'm looking forward to those. Um, I'd like to be able to squeeze in some headline shows somewhere. Um, I'm hoping we can do that maybe in the first half of the year, because obviously it can't clash with what we're doing in September with uh, Blackstone mm. Cherry. So um, there's a few uh, politic type things that have to be ironed out before we can definitely do any kind of thing like that. But um, yeah, I'm hoping we can do some, do like a, at least a, like a mini headline tour or something. Yeah. Well, you're also the front man for the USA supergroup, Supersonic Blues Machine. So is that still, is that project still going on? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're going to have a new album coming out at some point this year. It's obviously been delayed a little bit with all the COVID yeah. stuff. Um, I was out in LA f for like the whole of January. We recorded a new album. But then it's because obviously we get lots of different special guests involved. And the whole COVID thing, it's made it a little bit tricky. But some mm. it's actually made it easy to pin down a couple of guys because they've got recording facilities at home. They're stuck at home. And they've been yeah. able to collaborate like remotely. But for some of the guys that don't do that, some, you know, some of the more legendary people, should we say, um, <laughs> who are used to having people do that for them. Um, yeah. they, they haven't been able to get into LA to do, LA keeps locking yeah. down and then opens yeah. for a week, then locks down again. Um, so they're just having, having quite hard time. So I'm not sure when it's actually going to come out, but I'm pretty certain it will be some point this year. So that'd be quite okay, good. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for that. I just want to talk a little bit more about your Chris Barris album that's you know, due to be released at some point. Tell us a bit about that. Well, how does it compare to your previous material? Um, it's definitely a lot heavier. The stuff I'm writing, it's, I don't think anyone's going to listen to it and uh, you know, say it's a blues album, that's for sure. Um, I think e with each album, I've gradually got heavier. And, Heavy. uh, I think we've seen this other, actually in some other you know, blues rock artists, uh, Jack J. Hutchinson, for example. Going from blues to slightly more rocky and yeah. very rocky, so yeah, it seems to be a natural progression for some. And some fans might not like that; others will. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be one of those artists that just does like the same thing every yeah. album. You know, there's a lot more, um, you know, to my repertoire or whatever repertoire yeah, yeah. than <laughs> um, just blues stuff. You know, and. Um, yeah. I've played in metal bands over the years and stuff like that. You know, I've got a lot of love for heavy music. Um, I was, I'm doing a lot of writing with um, some pretty big time songwriters in the States, guys that yeah. like with Blackstone Cherry, Hailstorm, Shinedown, um, Seether, like bands like that. Um, so, yeah, some of the stuff we're coming up together is like, it's pretty heavy, but I think it still sounds like me. It's still me yeah. singing. It's still me playing guitar. You know, nothing's changed there. Um, so yeah i'm excited for it i think yeah you know gradually the band's got heavier the lineup i've got now is much more of a, a rock based lineup you know mm -hmm. billy on drums you know he's out and out like powerhouse rock, rock drummer um and that's kind of transformed the sound a lot um kelpie my new bass player same he loves like heavier stuff although he's played with a lot of blues bands too he really vibes off the heavier stuff and we're kind of like all on the same page now so it's just kind of uh, yeah, it's just gelling and, and working. Yeah, I mean, I love, you know, the blues, blues rock, and I love the heavier stuff, so I really can't wait to hear your new album. Um, do you have a name for it yet? No, I'm so, so still writing stuff, you know. I mean, I'm yeah. just working my way through different things. I've probably written about 30 songs already, um, but I keep going back uh, and chopping and changing and going, oh, well, I don't like that one anymore, but <laughs> that had a good riff in the chorus or whatever so let's nick it for another song and just yeah. doing things like that really um so it's the the lockdown might end up being i might like look back on it in a couple of years time and be like well actually it was a, a blessing in disguise for me whilst it may have been like a tough few months for me like financially and 
obviously the whole thing's horrible for everyone in the world. But um, yeah. I think, you know, I tour so much um, with, you know, both bands. And, and I think the downtime's just been really good just to reevaluate things and, and put time in that I probably wouldn't have had otherwise, you know, just trying to make the most of it. Yeah, I think it's given us all a chance to actually sit back and look at look at life, how we're doing things, maybe different ways of doing things, finding that things we appreciate more. Um, yeah, and things that we can take forward, I think, into the future as well, yeah. which is a great thing. And it has brought us a lot of creativity in people. So, um, yeah, I think lockdown, though it's been hard, maybe it's not been such a bad thing for us, a bit of a wake up call possibly. But it's all relative, isn't it? You know, it's, it's all well, relative yeah. to what your life experience is. And yeah. my life experience was traveling the world, playing shows. And I've worked very hard over the past few years to make that happen. Got taken away. It was a little bit of a down couple of months, but now I'm, I'm super positive. So there's people much <laughs> worse off than me in the world. Um, yeah. And, and of course it has yeah. affected people, you know, emotionally, mentally as well. Yeah. Being locked down. So it's yeah, it's not not being a creative process for everybody. Um, I just lastly want to ask you, do you have any favourite new wave of classic rock bands? I, I like a lot of the stuff that's coming out of the states. Uh, bands like the Cold <laughs> Stairs. Um, I think they're super cool. Glorious Sons, Dirty Honey. I think they are the mm -hmm. next big. They're great. Um, thing. I, yeah. I think they're gonna um, just explode in a very yeah. similar way that Greta Van Fleet did. Um, mm. Obviously, you know, we've got all the UK guys, those damn crows, obviously doing really well. Massive Wagons mm. just had incredible success. Um, yeah. Inglorious, too. They've, they've just done a new album. I'm keen yeah. to hear that. I'm a big fan of uh, Nathan's voice. He's a friend of mine, and I love Danny yeah. the guitar player, too. So, really yeah. looking forward to hearing what, what they've come up with. Okay, and we're all looking forward to hearing what you've come up with, too. So, I wish you all the very best. Thank and you very much. can't wait to see you on the stage all being well next year. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye. This is rock and roll. Burning down to myself.